Hi, it's Crystal, your very own personal beauty pro. And when I say I'm a beauty pro, I actually am a professional makeup artist of over 10 years. And along the way, I've also become a licensed esthetician and a licensed hairstylist. I specialize in what's called advertiser or commercial, but I also do some editorial, which includes magazine work, New York Fashion Week, and many other types of projects. But one of the things I love most in addition to doing what I love is sharing those pro techniques and secrets tips and tricks with everyday people like you for my regular supporters welcome back pretty people if you are new welcome to you please think about subscribing definitely comment above all hit the notification bell so that when you do need a beauty pro you know where to find me. Today I am sharing the much anticipated arrival of my pet McGrath Celestial Divinity Quads, the brand new highlighter and also lipsticks. And for my regulars, I know that you will be interested in this makeup look I'm wearing, which is this entire collection, and have already filmed for you a separate tutorial because in the tutorial, I don't want to just mix in a makeup look. I know a lot of people now combine their reviews with doing their makeup look. That can get a little cluttered and uh, distracting. And I'm not just going to be putting on makeup like, and I'm doing this and I'm doing that and, you know, speeding it up and things like that. You know that I like to weave in uh, some pro tips for you and whenever I do a makeup look I'm not just slapping it on I'm giving you tips that you can actually use one thing I was able to resist in the collection that large palette but the quads stood out to me because they were so gorgeous last year this year's quads are the same as last year they're in that black lacquer look is actually plastic obviously and they look the same on the front they feel about the same weight on the back there is a slight difference last year had that pretty gold plate with the lettering etched into it and this year it has some etching and a label but it feels sturdy at the hinges and it's not flimsy and it does include a mirror i know that means a lot to a lot of people let's start with the first quad that proved to be such a surprise to me and that's Fleur Fantasia. Fleur Fantasia is the more pastel of the three quads and while it looked cute in the pictures and I was going to get it because I know Pat I didn't expect you know it to just wow me like it has. So the first shade up is Hue Topia and Hue Topia it looks like a soft beigey gold in the container but it's a surprising beautiful shade of peachy gold and would be pretty also as a highlighter on the cheek. The next shade up is the little star of this quad it's lavender blue and just as it promises it's lavender with a blue flip. This one is iridescent orchid sort of neon fuchsia purple very very pretty and a beautiful way to balance this is lotus paradise which is more of a soft creamy matte formula it's a beautiful peach shade i'm also wearing that next quad is a gorgeous risque rose and this one is made in italy rich fuchsia pink called rose rebellion and it's a matte like formula very creamy the next one is lavendering lavendering absolutely stunning it's silver lavender gold purple i say if you stare at it really closely you can see an entire disco going on particularly excited about lavendering because there is a lavendering uh, opulust gloss i don't know what we did to deserve a matching eyeshadow but uh we will certainly take it beautiful iridescent pinky gold called Life on Mars. That rich chocolate brown is called Mink Noir. Perfect name for that chocolatey, minky, night color. 
And there's the one I hear people making the most fuss over, and that is Interstellar Icon, or Gold Polaris. So while that looks like a soft, everyday gold, it has a beautiful iridescent flip to it. And then the blue that has everybody hypnotized is Hypnotique. It has a gorgeous purple multi-dimensional flash. And that rich wine is Blue Blood. And that smoky tobacco shade is Divine Dahlia, another hit for me. I was thinking how pretty can brown be? Like how many chocolatey, iridescent, shimmering browns can we have? But as you can see, that one is absolutely beautiful. If you don't get enough razzle dazzle on their own with the shimmers and with pow wow colors like lavendary, you can boost them up by dampening your brush. Apply the product to the brush first and then dampen it separately rather than the reverse and introduce water or other product into your products. But then there is the method that Pat herself has used and most artists keep them in their kit, myself included, and that's Meron Mixing Liquid. That's it with mixing medium. <laughs> I have been lifting weight so that I would be able to pick this highlighter up. It weighs approximately 50 pounds and I think it is actually solid 24 karat gold. Okay, perhaps I exaggerate just a wee bit, but this packaging went above and beyond exceeding my expectations. Going to be gorgeous on a vanity. It's described as champagne gold, but it's definitely more champagne than gold. We're used to a lot of yellow and orangey type coppery gold highlighters. This one is a truer flesh tone. It has a beautiful sheen, but it's not that high shine metallic. You can get it to be a bit more metallic if you have like a dewy finish underneath, but this is going to give you a softer glow. The lipsticks came in this beautiful packaging. Two were already existing, but they just happened to be two I didn't have, so I had to get them of course. The first one up is Elson, and that's a gorgeous, luscious, deep, sophisticated red. That's named after amazing model Karen Elson. And this other one is named after a model many of you know and love, named Omi Campbell. This one is nicknamed Omi. Then we have the newer ones. And there was something odd that someone pointed out to me about this packaging on this newer lipstick and on the box. So I wanna pause and point that out for us. If you weren't paying attention, you would miss it. But there's a crisscross pattern on the boxes is pre-printed. But on the lipsticks, it's a sticker. It's covering up the existing design that's under there, which is very odd. It makes you wonder what was under there and why they had to cover it up. Was it a design thing or was there some other issue? And is that what contributed to the delays that they had to make some last minute changes that they weren't anticipating? Was this collection originally slated for? This time of year, was it supposed to be a different collection? We wouldn't know exactly unless, you know, Pat McGrath herself revealed it. But it is a, a curious little detail. This one has like a peel off label clearly placed on there to cover up the existing design. And these two, in the new ones, there's the shade Amour, which is a beautiful bright coral kissed pink. And the other shade is this deep plummy rose called Divine Romance. As a pro and as a consumer, I do have a way of rating things to determine if I feel they're really good quality. I kind of have what's called Crystal's criteria. Those would be customer service, presentation, and quality. Let's start with the customer service, or do we even need to at this point? It's upsetting me in my home, girl. One too many fiascos with that website of Pat. And I now refer to Pat's Purgatory as where your products land after you purchase them. And you can hope to receive them one day. No, that is not acceptable service. And I probably would have left some other brands. <laughs> Next criteria is presentation. The black is always sleek and attractive. Another part of the presentation is color story. These color stories are much more versatile than you might think. And the other thing I love about the quads is that they play well together. Like these two quads are really 
primarily my entire eye look so I love the way they mix and match and accentuate each other and again there's just so many ways to wear them you can do a pop of shimmer on the lid a really beautiful black eyeliner and go. You can do one of the smoky colors on your lid and go. The highlighter was unexpectedly fabulous. Quality. What do I think about the quality? I've had a couple of days to wear these and I've worn these two days in a row. I've not had any of these products apply patchy. They've all been even, true to color, and this is with no primer. They looked as flawless at the end of the day as they did early in the day when I put them on. And in buying so much makeup, I'm always impressed at how Pat McGrath can still make me smile with these shades and with these formulas and make me go ooh and ah, although I've seen it all. <laughs> I almost feel like these three quads are giving you their own unique mothership palette when put together. Pat McGrath has some of the best lipstick formulas on the market and I'm not exaggerating and I've tried a ton of them. You barely touch them to the lips and you get full pigmented payoff. So with all that being said, you might still wonder, do I really need this? I guess if you just need a few more gorgeous products, whether you decide to pick these up or not, I hope you enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed playing with these products for you and I enjoy creating this look for you, which you will see in the very next video. And then you get to see the products perform in more detail. I look forward to seeing you in that video and until then keep it pretty. So tell you